You may have heard the mantra that hardware is hard, and as somebody who's been involved in several hardware businesses, I can say that that's definitely the case. I deeply subscribe to the concepts of minimalism, essentialism, and lean startup, and I think they apply to many aspects of life. And today specifically, I want to talk about why lean startup is so crucial to hardware startups. The main point that I want to drive home is that hardware iteration cycles are long. With software startups, you can iterate several times per week, several times per day even, if you've got the manpower to make it happen. But with hardware, it's really hard to iterate. You may be able to move to a place like Shenzhen where they've got a great hardware ecosystem and iterate on your product several times per week in the development stage. But when it actually comes to putting a product out there, shipping it around the world, getting regulatory things certified, and all the associated costs, hardware has a lot of hurdles. Now this is not to say that hardware is not worth doing. If you can get into hardware and you're providing something that's of key value, you're actually setting yourself up for a blue ocean because it's so hard to get into hardware, people don't want to do it. That's not to downplay the skills uh, that goes into software development, but just saying that hardware has a lot of additional concerns that you don't have when you get into software. Because hardware iteration cycles are so long, people are more inclined to want to add features because you can't iterate on the product as fast. But I think that's actually the wrong thing to do. When you add more features, you actually limit your ability to test which ones are effective and which ones are not. So for example, with my bedtime bulb product, it is a regular light bulb that reduces blue light. It doesn't have any smart features. You can use it with dimmers, but there's no Bluetooth control. You know, it doesn't fade up and fade down automatically. It's just a light bulb with one key feature. And that's how we were able to test whether this idea was valuable in the marketplace. If we were to add smart features, not only would it have been more difficult to test whether the smart part was more important or the blue light reducing part was more important, but it also would have increased the cost, increased the time to market, and reduce the quality of the product because we didn't focus on that one key feature. So as somebody who's starting a hardware startup or already has a hardware product, I urge you, you gotta take that feature list that you want and you gotta throw away 90% of those features. You gotta get out there and put something to market quickly because quickly is still really slow in the world of hardware. And in, in the real world, you're only gonna be able to iterate several times per year. So it's crucial that you get rid of the features that are gonna make your product harder to use bring more customer support issues, make people not like your product, reduce the quality, and increase the time to market. You gotta get rid of those extra features. In case I'm not driving home the point enough, I urge you to read two books. The first one is The Lean Startup, which every startup founder should read, but especially hardware founders, because that iteration cycle is so long, and you gotta work within that long iteration cycle to really do this proper customer development process that they talk about in this book. You have to not just ship, a laundry list of features, you have to test this thing with the customers. So it's better to make it lean, minimal, and get it out there in the customer's hands and see what they think. The second book I think you need to read is Essentialism. And it talks about how the concept of minimalism works in business and life. And it's the book that really drove home the concept of the MVP for me, even though it's not really a business book. I heard about the MVP for years and I basically didn't believe it because I thought, you know, with hardware, it's so hard. We got to make sure we got to ship all these features. But I think once you read Essentialism, you'll understand why in a business context, the MVP is critical. If you have questions about e-commerce, entrepreneurship, making hardware products, I'd love to hear your questions in the comments below. And if you wanna discuss something more in depth, I have some links in the description to coaching calls so you can book a 30 or 60 minute call with me so we can talk through some things. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.